All right, so we talked about don't use a heat press when you start. Now, I think we come to the conclusion that it's absolutely fine and use one whenever you do start. But now it's time for you to transition because you're getting more and more orders in into something like screen printing. So this all depends on your business model, of course. If you're doing something like Etsy Print On Demand, which is majority of where my income came from, you know, screen printing might not be the best option for you, but when it comes to a brand, a clone brand, you know the exact style, the exact design that you want, the exact print that you want, print it out hundreds of times, then it's time for you to graduate. So we really never made a video about you graduating into screen printing. So let's go ahead and hop into this video so we can talk a little bit about pricing, how the structure works, and even how to separate your design files so that your screen printer don't have too much of an issue with it. Alright, so here we are on Kittle.com. This is a beginner, easy, friendly design software to use. Well, it's just a website, but you know, over time you do want to graduate into Photoshop and Illustrator as well. So each and every single portion of this entire game starts from somewhere and then you have to graduate into an entirely different process because you got to get accommodated first and don't be too intimidated by anything. Photoshop and Illustrator is intimidating, but this is a good intro into all of that. So check this out. We have this design right here. As you can see, this will be a two color print. And then if you want something a little more complex, like something like this might work. Um, screen printers won't really be able to do the full color print unless do, they do like the CMYK print, which is going to be a little bit too complicated to explain when you're first starting off. So let's go ahead and avoid that. So let's keep it simple at first to explain the color process. So let's say you're printing on a pink t-shirt, right? You won't necessarily have to be concerned about the background itself, but sometimes you can just go ahead and remove that. And now we do still see a third color right here. So what we're going to do is select everything. And then we're going to remove that pink color right there. We're going to click this right here. Oh, okay. So it makes it brown. What we can do is uh, they have all the document colors right here. So we can see if brown looks okay, or we can see if this other pink looks okay. So it looks like brown looks okay, but I saw something right here. We're going to right click and we're going to click ungroup. We're going to right click ungroup one more time. Okay. Maybe not. All right. So I'm going to look right here. There we go. Now that one right there is the same color as this pink right here. So that saves us some money. And let me explain. So when it comes to screen printing, the setup fee goes by per color. Setup fee. Now we have a two color print. We have this pink and we have this really dark brown. So this pricing right here depends on who you go to. This is just a base foundation for you to think about. So it could be $40, right? So you got setup fee for brown color. Then you got setup fee for $40 for the pink color. And now the pricing per screen printed color goes by the t-shirt. So the more you order, the cheaper it gets. So let's say it's $2 for each pink print. It could be less, could be more, depending who you go to. The more you order though, the less that cost would be. So let's say if you're getting 50 t-shirts done, you only have to pay the setup fee one time. But let's say if you're getting 50 t-shirts done, you need that pink print 50 times. Now it's $2 times 50 t-shirts because it's $2 per print. So that right there is going to cost you $100. All right. So now if you need the brown color print, so that's $2 each brown print, and you also need down each t-shirt, that's also going to be another $100. So in total for you to get 50 t-shirts printed from a screen printer will be $280 plus the cost of you getting the actual t-shirt itself. And that is why I recommended removing that third color unless you absolutely needed it. So let's say if you had that third color pink, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this down. We got 50 t-shirts at a two, $2 per pink print for $100, $2 per brown print for another $100. And then if you wanted to leave that light color pink in, light pink print, you need 100 of these. That's going to be $6 for the entire set. So you're looking at $6 times 50. So that's 300, if my math is correct, plus the $80 setup fee. So in total, that'd be $380. So by removing a color that we didn't absolutely need saved us $100. So now I'm going to show you something a little bit more advanced because Kittle now has AI and I, I like using it because it makes your photos a little bit more unique, especially if you are on something like a template editor like Kittle. 
So what we can do is head on over to Kittle AI and let's type in school with helmet. When it comes to using AI, it's all about using the correct prompts. I like to use the word sticker so that the colors are a little bit more flat. It's not something that's photorealistic. Same thing for vector t-shirt design and then school with helmet on fire. I know in the previous video, a lot of people are saying I wouldn't wear that, I wouldn't wear that. But you know, we sold out of that t-shirt design at our last event and at the end of the day there's a lot of designs that i create that i personally wouldn't wear neither it's all about knowing your audience and what they want to wear a lot of us design because we think it's cool and then we put it in the market and then guess what happens absolutely nothing you have to really know your audience when it comes to selling t-shirts so i'm generating an image let's see what pops up the last video we had a good turnout okay so this one is okay it's not exactly the best and then the bottom part is cut off let me go ahead and do the AI background remover. So it's interesting to me that it actually fits this design, but it does irritate me that the bottom is cut off. Let's go ahead and generate one more image and let's see what pops up. And since it is an image, the colors aren't separated, but I'm about to show you a way to actually do it, but you do need Adobe Illustrator. All right, so this one was pretty cool. I like this one a lot better because the flames look way better, but there is text in there. So now we need to go to Adobe Illustrator anyway, so I can show you how to cut it out. So I'm going to delete that. Let's go ahead and change this right here to our brand name. So we got that. Now I would like for this to be quite large. Let me go ahead and use this AI background remover. All right, awesome. So now what I need to do. Okay, so I tried to play around with this. Didn't exactly do what I wanted it to do, but I am going to remove the white real quick. Let's go ahead and get our eyedropper tool over here. And then that helps remove the white now just gonna put it like right there for now we'll play around with the actual design a little bit later I'm gonna click download to a PDF alright so here I am in Adobe Illustrator I'm gonna use the direct selection tool it should give me this okay it is bounded to this little box right here so let's see here I'm just gonna cut it paste it back over and bring it on top okay there we are so now all we wanted to do was just edit this one right here. So now I do want to vectorize this because it was just an AI image that we got. So now I am an image trace. Gonna click color, ignore white. Let's do about a few colors because we don't want too many colors when it comes to screen printing. There we go. Now it's an actual vector file. I'm gonna click expand and check that out. All right, so now I'm gonna click the pen tool and remove all of this text. All right, so now we have that. We're gonna click on this and click on this one. And then we're gonna go to Window and Pathfinder. And here we have this right here. Gonna go ahead and click on this button right here, Trim. Okay, I didn't, I don't think I did that right, but that's okay. So now I'm just gonna click the direct selection tool. Hold on, got an object on group it real quick. Hit the direct selection tool now. And then there we go. Now we have what we want. And now what we need to do is change these colors right so see how there's like a whole bunch of yellow if we ha had to sit here and click all of them it would take a long time right so now what I'm going to do is take the direct selection tool instead of selecting all of them I'm just gonna click on that yellow color I'm gonna click on select same fill color now it selects all of them for me it makes it that much easier and now I can just come on over here let's say if we wanted to make it disappear we could do that or we could just actually change the color itself. So we could come over here and change it. You do want to use the actual Pantone book so that it's the exact Pantone color match, but sometimes that costs a little bit more money if you want your screen printer to Pantone match it to a specific color. So if you want to go red, just go ahead and go red until your screen printer is that, that color is actually red or green or orange or whatever it may be. So that's pretty much it when it comes to separating the actual file for your actual AI image and turning it into something that you can actually Actually screen print it so let's go ahead and actually match these colors up so what we want to do so we're gonna do a for direct selection tool that's the shortcut select same fill color So that's pretty much that. We still gotta figure out a color for the actual school before we get it printed. Uh, the white might not look too good. The black might actually work. Uh, we might have to go with a different color t-shirt. 
But that's pretty much how you turn an AI image into a screen printed file so that the colors are actually separated and it is vectorized. And that's some things that you should consider whenever sending your actual design to your screen printer is minimizing those colors. So if this video helps you out, comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all next time.